Hello there, Ash Fakul. All right, so we're way over the word limit. Be careful, okay? Um, you want to be aiming for 260 because that will give you more time to check your work, okay? Uh, to check it for mistakes in the exam. Let's go. There is an argument that the ownership of a product by copyright laws is beneficial for the people and society. But others think that this copyright claim work blocks the creativity of the artist. Wonderful, wonderful start. I think that the rights of the patent owner are essential to protect and to ensure professional, in, professional interests. Good. Don't get patent mixed up with copyright check on wikipedia the difference the most suitable word would be intellectual property yeah there's no doubt every artist artist's work okay so there's no doubt every artist works hard to make their invention unique genius in other words professionals or companies invest money man pound valuable time to make the products so that the customers can enjoy them okay them make products so that their companies can enjoy the customers can enjoy them therefore they deserve to apply for the patent of their items or intellectual property ownership of their items and by claiming the possession companies secure their investment good okay be careful i would have said the companies here so we don't get it mixed up with customers because i was thinking you were talking about the customers okay so be careful ambiguity we want to be crystal clear as a result of this safeguard by the laws companies deliver quality things can we say something more precise than things products property intellectual property drugs remedies whatever as well as consumers so companies deliver quality things as well as consumers so you're saying they deliver both no that's not right so just delete that bit ah, okay also consumers receive the full benefit of these things once again more more specific yeah products is better or developments as an example in the usa copyright laws are very strict and because of these rules recently the law enforcement agency caught the pirate bay owner which uploads the movies okay so more specific caught a piracy website comma piratebay.com which uploads movies, music, and other app and other work illegally, which is a clear violation of the local international copyright laws. So that sentence needs to be split into two. One to explain what Pirate Bay is, because not everybody knows, especially maybe a 60-year-old examiner. And secondly, <clears throat> just for clarity and to avoid the risk of writing long sentences. Also, the next essay Ashvari as um, I want you to write using the sentence guide structure, okay? This way, it's more likely to reach the word limit 260 and it's much easier to follow. Secondly, copyright infringement laws keep the market competitive and discourage institutions or individuals to plagiarize the original works, okay? So we needed a verb here, not the noun. As it is, as it is legally enlisted in the court by the owner, what is it here? It doesn't, it's not clear. Um, no other party can produce or publish the items without permission. So what we need to put here is um, the items here are legally protected items. Nobody can produce them. You see, and we use the demonstrative later in the sentence once we've got the subject clear of the parent companies. Okay, if anyone tries to do this, they will be brought under laws and either they'll be brought to justice or they'll be brought to the to court and either find or punished according to the rules and regulations <clears throat> good for example the patent lawsuit between two rival mobile companies samsung and ample it's well known to all where samsung pays fine as they the copyright laws no for example the patent lawsuit between two rival mobile companies samsung and apple is well known to all comma whereby samsung now has to pay fines to apple full stop okay that it needs clarity what we've got here is grammatically incorrect all right in conclusion copyright laws guard the creative people's thought protect is better thought and for the betterment of society good way well done for putting society in here i would have liked to have seen society mentioned here just re get for your task response score and um, so when you're doing your P1s and your P2s that you put in the sentence guide structure, double, triple, check them 
to make sure that they correspond to task response, okay? Because this does not, it's slightly off, all right? So good work, but we've still got some work to do. And um, also, writing a shorter essay will give you more time to check for mistakes, okay? Bar diagram shows the percentage of four different calorie sources for British males with three separate age groups. Fantastic. It is clear that dairy and meat are the major resources of calories in the below 50 age groups, comma, whereas pulses are the main item to meet the energy requirement of 50 plus UK males. Excellent. Well done. Well done for using the comparative structure. What I don't like is though it's not the most logical way to organize your essay okay the most logical way would be to start with the youngest ones okay um and then work through so we start with the young then the middle and then the eldest okay and then we put overall at the end and the overall so have a look at the sentence guide academic task one course because there we've got a structure to follow similar to the sentence guide okay and we finish with overall it is clear blah 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 okay so let's go the bar diagram shows the percentage of four different okay we've done that in zero to 24 aged british men more than 40 percent of calories come from dairy products meanwhile around half of the calorie requirement of the 24 is fulfilled by meat okay good well done but I don't understand if we'd have said the calorie is fulfilled by dairy, then it's sort of like a logical comparison, you see? Or if we'd have just um, mentioned meat here and then talked about meat later as well, it's a logical comparison, but I can't see the logic in that one, okay? Similarly, approximately one-fifth of calories are obtained from dairy items in the 24 to 49 age group. And interestingly, nearly a similar percentage of calories comes from meat in 25 years and less. Okay, it comes from meat for those aged 25, 20, under 24. Full stop. That would be enough. Yeah. Furthermore, vegetables supply less than 20% of calories in the under 50 group full stop okay so we don't use on the other hand that's to show different points of view here there's no different point of view it's purely objective okay so a good way to do this is just to start with the subject okay so let's go for the over 50s more than two-thirds of the calorie requirement came from pulses which is around five times higher than the other groups calorie source good moreover about 20 percent of calorie demand satis is satisfied by dairy and meat in the over 50 age group. In the case of vegetables, it ranks the lowest position. Only one tenth of calories comes from it. it. Comes from, okay, that's fine actually. Then we just finish off with an overall sentence, okay? And what we do is we say overall, each group has a preferred choice of calories depending on age, comma, the youngest group, meat, the middle group, oh no, dairy, meat, sorry, and the eldest group, pulses. Okay, I got that mixed up, but you get the idea. All right, so try and do this for the next one. Try and logically organize, okay? So we'll go like part of the graph, second part of the graph, third part of the graph, okay? And group information that you see is similar within the country, Okay, or within the city, I can't remember which way it goes. Um, so, for example, in the 0 to 24 group, there is a very clear opportunity to group information because apart from dairy, all the others are roughly between 20%. Okay, so in this graph, ideally, we'd have done 0 to 24, then the middle, and then the old. Okay, um, and avoid comparing between the two age groups. Okay, compare with them because then it's just easier to read. Okay, Ashvari, uh, have a great day. What I want you to do now is implement all the corrections that you've heard, update your error list, and then send me back the corrected essays and your new error list, and your send me your two new essays. And remember to check them for errors made previously, and also edit it down if it's over the word count. Okay, so 260 for task two, 
and 160 for task one. If they're over, I'll send them back and ask you to edit them, okay? All right, buddy, have a good day. You're doing great, and I want you to carry on improving.